Hello everyone, it's me Shahid. I hope you're well. Today we have a new story to read. It's called Dear Santa. Written by Gabby Goldsack. In Christmas Eve, when the snow was all white, I sat on the floor with a letter to write. Before I began, I thought what to say I'd like Santa to leave for me on Christmas Day. Dear Santa, I nettly wrote, I hope you're well when you read this note. I'm sure you have noticed that I have been good just as my mommy told me I should. So if it's alright for Christmas, I'd like a book or a train set or maybe a bike. Then when I'd finished, I printed my name and added kisses again and again. Across to the fireplace, I boldly went, and up the chimney, my letter was sent. For that is a place, I'm sure you'll know, that letters to Santa should always go. Just how they get there, I don't understand, but that is the way to Santa's cold land. That winter's night, when the world was asleep, I snuggled in bed, not a sound, not a peep, thinking of Santa and the toys he would bring and the fun I would have on Christmas morning. When all of a sudden, where could I be? Out in the snow in a strange country. Next to a cabin in the deep Christmas snow, I shiver with cold as I peer in the window. It's Santa's workshop. I must creep inside. No one will see me if I'm careful to hide. Shh, I must be quiet as I tiptoe in to see where our Christmas toys all begin. I can see Santa reading letters galore. Hey, he's got mine by his feet on the floor. A map of the world is pinned to the wall, showing Santa the way to the homes of us all with rooftop instructions so there is no doubt that any small child is ever left out. Just see how busy all Santa's elves are. One's making a doll's house, one a toy car, another elf painting a wonderful train. And this elf is putting the wings on a plane. Look at that little elf riding a bike. It's just like the one I said I would like. This must be the room where presents are packed. They're measured for size, then carefully wrapped. Tied up with ribbons and finished with bows. Each with a name tag so Santa Claus knows. Wherever you look, there is bustle and scurry. Everyone seems in terrible hurry. Here are the elves who help Santa get dressed. There's Santa's coat and hat, all neatly pressed. And there are his boots, getting a shine. They look so nice, I wish they were mine. I think his room is as good as the rest, for it's the place that makes Santa look best. Back in the workshop, the parcel truck halts. It seems there is a problem with one of its bolts. The elves are worried there's a trouble in the air, but here comes Santa to make the repair. In no time at all, parcels feed on their way, out to the stable and on through the sleigh. Outside the stable, the reindeer wait. I count them all up and yes, they are eight. Their hooves are polished, their bells burnish bright, as elves brush and groom them in the moonlight. Their harnesses gleam, their coats all shine, now the reindeer are restless as it's almost time. The slide is now packed and the reindeer ready. Santa at the reins cries, away now, go steady. High over clouds and hills they fly galloping onwards across the sky. Soon beneath them rooftops they see, where inside asleep are children like me. When I wake up, it's Christmas Day, 
And just like my dream, Santa's Ben. Hooray! My stocking is filled up with candy can. And I'm sure in that pretzel there must be a train. Great! There is a bicycle propped by my bed. My letter to Santa must have been read. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. See you in the next video. Bye!